Hi everyone, this is Patty from Deep Space Sparkle. This week we're exploring four really simple watercolor techniques that every student should know. If you're anything like me, you love the look of watercolor paints, but maybe you don't know which technique is right or age appropriate for your children or your students. So that's what we're going to learn today. By the end of this video, I'm going to show you four techniques that any kid at any age level can do to create really beautiful art. Before we get started with the lesson, make sure you subscribe to the channel and to get notifications, just hit the bell below. To make things a lot easier for you, I've created a handout with the techniques that I'm going to be teaching you listed in order. So you can follow along with these handouts and they're linked to in the description below. For the techniques that I'm going to show you today, you're going to need a 90 pound school grade watercolor paper, a waterproof black marker or some colored markers, but make sure they're waterproof, some oil pastels or crayons, I love using black, some table salt, some liquid watercolor paints or regular pan watercolor paints, plus water, a paper towel, and some watercolor brushes. And that's about it. Okay, let's get started. First technique that I'm gonna show you is using a waterproof marker to draw a leaf. And I like to draw with a curved line to start, and sometimes it's nice to double that line up to make the stem. Now, I'm gonna start at the top and just start making these organic lines. You don't have to make them perfect, and bring them into the stem and try to repeat it on the other side as best you can. Now, waterproof marker uh, will resist or uh, not bleed or blend into the liquid watercolors. Now, you don't have to continue to use black. You can add um, other colors. I have a red Sharpie marker. You wanna come from the stem and bring the veins all the way out to the ends. And I'm gonna add one more color. This is kind of a golden yellow, and that looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna pick a yellow liquid watercolor and maybe a brown. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm gonna start with the yellow. And when you paint watercolor over waterproof marker, the waterproof marker is not going to bleed. It will stay a nice dark line. So this is a great way for children to add really strong lines to their artwork. And then the color goes right on top. The trick with this is that children have to be fairly careful to just touch the black line or the contour line so you don't go over the edge. Let's move on to technique number two, which is wax resist. This is my favorite one for kids because basically you are drawing with uh, an oil pastel or a uh, crayon and you're building a wall around the outside of your leaf. Now you can use the black for the veins, or you can select another color. Maybe yellow is really pretty. Now, the beauty of wax resist is this. Children can be a little bit more um, free and easy. They can be a little bit messy. They can just plop that color on wherever they want it to go. But can you see how the watercolor paints pretty much stay put? They're gonna stay within the wall of this oil pastel. And what happens when we paint the back, the outside is that everything kind of stays together. Now you can add a little bit more uh, variances of color. I'm adding a little bit of yellow here just to make it look a little bit more warm. So that is the beauty of technique number one or two rather, watercolor resist. Now I'm just going to do another leaf down here just to kind of combine the two techniques. And this is going to be like an oak leaf. The third technique that I want to show you is called wet on wet. This is an oldie but a goodie. You want to take your background and you want to paint the background as close to the leaves as possible, but not touching with water. Then take your smaller brush and dip it into a color and just watch it, you know, blend into all of the water. The water is going to carry it away and the paint will only go where the water is. And this is where kids love to see 
the watercolor traveling around the paper where the water is. Now the very final technique is salting. I have liquid watercolors over a watercolor paper, and then this is just regular table salt. And when you sprinkle a little bit of table salt over the wet or damp liquid watercolor, when it dries, is that the salt will pull in all the color and you can see that there's a starburst effect. It's really important to have the right paper. So again, if you'd like to hear more about the paper, that's suitable for watercolor paints, just let me know in the comments below. Now you have four watercolor techniques that are perfect for your students. Watercolor marker, watercolor resist, wet on wet, and salting. I think salting's my favorite. Now, you're probably wondering what kind of art projects you can do. Well, you can do this one, but I've also linked up to my watercolor tulips and my Notre Dame Cathedral at Night, which is spectacular. And you're gonna find those links to those free lessons in the description below. I can't wait to see what you do with your students. So if you haven't joined our Facebook group, this Deep Space Sparkle Dazzlers yet, please do so. There's thousands of teachers there who share their artwork with teachers all over the world. And we would love to have you part of our community. The link again is in that description below. Lots of links for you today. Now I'll see you next Tuesday where I'll do another art tutorial.